Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? Ah, there. Yeah. Good evening, Jose, Carlos. Welcome. Hello, Monica. Hello, uh, Kevin. Hello, Janetti. How are Hello, you? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today, you guys? Good. That's good. That's awesome. Welcome to the class. I'm really happy that you are here today, okay? And so we are about to start, okay? Just give me one second so I can share my presentation. And so give me one second, okay? So there we have it. Welcome. Uh, Jose Walter is entering right now. Um, and so wait a second. Bueno, eh, gracias a todos por venir y estar a tiempo en la clase. I really appreciate that. De verdad, aprecio eso. And so, um, yeah. Now, here, uh, we have welcome, Fausto. Welcome, Jose Walter. Okay, so we are going to start today's class. Vamos a iniciar y a continuar la clase del día de ahora. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate that. I already said that, but okay, just a reminder. Today it is Thursday, June 8th, 2023. My name is Miss Alvarado, Rosemary Alvarado. And we are going to continue with Inglés Principiante Módulo 1. El día de ahora vamos a continuar. Vamos a finalizar nuestra second week, ¿ok? Y este ahora es jueves 8, 2023. Y como saben, mi nombre es uh, Miss Alvarado o Rosemary Alvarado, as you want to call me, ¿ok? Today we are going to continue with the WH questions and also we are going to describe our classmates, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer dos cosas súper importantes el día de ahora que son uh, describir a nuestros compañeros y, y vamos a practicar un poco las WH questions que son muy importantes, por cierto, ¿ok? Uh, so we are going to continue. Where are you from? Vamos a continuar con eso de where are you from, que es for nationalities and more. To this is the agenda, okay, super short, but with a lot of activities. Esta es la agenda, super cortita, pero con muchas actividades, como ustedes saben, para practicar, okay. And to um, start the class, okay, I have a little bit of practice, okay. It's a little bit about the uh, numbers because yesterday we were practicing about the numbers. El día de ayer, como se recuerdan, estábamos haciendo una práctica de los números, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer una práctica ahorita. One more practice. And this is practice. It's called memory game. It's a memory game, okay? And what do you have to do? Oh, wait, give me one second because I, uy, what did I do? No. Wait a second. Uh, so, what do you have to do? You're going to choose a number. Van a elegir un número, okay? And then, show good marks. Uh, no. I know what is happening. No sé por qué. Oh, there. So, you're going to choose two numbers. Welcome to the rest. Bienvenidos a los que se acaban de agregar. Welcome, welcome. Good evening. So, van a elegir dos cartitas y en estas dos cartitas en eh, uno deben de uh, um, like encontrar el número y en el otro va a estar escrito, ok? Uh, so, let's start with José Carlos. José Carlos, escribes, escribe, elige, sorry, dos eh, cartitas. One and three. A1? One and three. But we have A1, so it would be wait, A1 and A3. No, one and three. No, Mr. Pero, but puede ver que hay A1, A2, A3, A4, A5. Y de ahí tenemos B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. Ah. En estas tarjetitas abajo vas a encontrar el número inscrito en, en letras y también en, en número. ¿Ok? Entonces tienes que encontrarlo. Tienes que tratar de recordar dónde está. Pero primero vamos a elegir dos. Tell me another one. B2. Okay, B2. Oh, almost, Mr. Per. Very good try. Vamos a ver. Let's go with Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Uh, and three? Uh, A3? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. D3. D3, okay. Oh, no. Pretty good try, Miss. 
Okay. Let's go next one. Uh, let's go with Eric. Tell me. Before. Before, uh huh. E D E five. B five. Sí. Okay. Yes. D five. Oh, si se acuerda. Let's go with Kevin. Yes, Kevin. A one before. Okay, a one before. Yay! Very good, Kevin. Excellent. Let's see now, Fausto. Fausto, tell me. A three. D one. A three. D one. D one. No, but almost, Mr. For very good try. Let's go with uh -huh. Jose Walter. Please tell me. Uh, yes, uh, so yeah, B B three. Okay, B three. D five. D five. Oh no, Mr. For good try. Thank you. Let's go, Kevin. <laughs> Do you remember Kevin? <laughs> B three and D one. Okay, B3, right, in D1. That's what you say? No, mister. Let's go with next one. Carla, Carla Rivera. Tell me, Carla. Mm, A3. Okay. C5. Okay, C5. Oh, no, Carla, but good try. Thank you. Let's go with Monica. Monica, tell me. A3. Okay, A3. D5. Okay, D5. Oh, no. Let's go with Rebecca. Tell me. D2. D2, uh-huh. D... C4. Oh, no, 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 but good try, Miss. Okay, let's go, Kevin. Yes, tell me, Kevin. A3 and D1. D1. No, Mr. Almost. You did good, but it's almost, okay? Okay, let's go with next one. Help me, please, Janetti. A5. Uh-huh, A5. Mm, six, four. Six, C4, C4. <laughs> oh, no, but good try, good try, Miss, thank you. <laughs> Let's see, next one. Let's go one more time, vamos una vez más. Uh, Esmeralda, tell me. Oh, Rebecca, tell me. Yes, Rebecca, te escucho, Rebecca, tell me. A5. Okay, A5. And D5. D5. No, Fausto. <laughs> Fausto, let's go. Aquí me mandaron uno. A3, A4. No. Ah, no, A3, C4, dice. Vamos a ver, Candelaria. No, A5. B3, dicen por acá. Vamos a ver. A3, no. A5. A, A, I'm sorry? One more time? A3, A5. Yay! Very good. Let's go. Fausto, tell me. Yes. Uh, um. O tú eres el que me acabas de decir ese, porque no, no. Oh, I'm sorry, ok, no problem, that was perfect, Fausto, thank you. Carla, tell me, y después Kevin. B1. Ajá, B1. D2. D2. Uh, miss, almost, almost. <laughs> Good try, let's go. Kevin, tell me. B3. Uh -huh. Uh, this is five. D five. Okay. No. <laughs> but good try. Let's go next one. 
Rebeca, tell me, Rebeca. Oh, no, Rebeca. Sí, for. Ok. B1. Ok, B1. Oh, no. Let's go. Esmeralda. Vamos a intentarlo una vez más. Esmeralda. Let's go. Tell me. Um, B1. Ajá. C4. Ooh. But good try, Esmeralda. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Eric. G1. Okay, D1, right? D1. Uh -huh. In, um, B2. B2. Ooh. <laughs> Good try, Eric. Thank you. Jose Carlos, tell me. Ay, tenemos otra vez. Number four. Okay. But what letter? A, B, C, A4. or? A4. A4? A. Uh huh. C3. Ooh, good try. Let's go. B2, B two. Mm -hmm. C3. Yay, very good. Ooh. Kevin, do you have one? C1. Uh-huh. And B1. Okay. B. Yay, very good, Kevin. Nice. Let's go next one. Jose... Wait, wait, wait. Who said Walter? Tell me, who said Walter? D1. Uh huh. Me C4. Ooh, almost, Mr. Jose Walter. Thank you. Let's go with uh, uh -huh. Monica. Let's go, Monica. D5 and A4. A4. Almost, Miss. Thank you. Casi, casi. Vamos a ver, Rebeca. One more time, Rebeca. Rebeca. I don't know what happened. Janeri? Janeri, let's try no. it. Define. Uh -huh. I'm sorry? Define. Uh huh. Mm, um, before. D4. Oh, no. Very good, but good try. Good try. Let's go next one. Janeri, tell me, Janeri. D2. Okay. D2, right? Uh -huh. El número 90 in English. How do you... uh -huh. A4. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Somebody. D2. Yes, Carla? D5. B2. D2. Uh huh. B5. Oh, no. no. Yes, but almost. B3, dicen para acá. C4. No. Ahí en el chat box. Okay, Fausto, tell me, Fausto. Oh, no. Tan emocionado. Okay, D1, D2. Yay, very good. Let's go, Fausto. Now, yes. <laughs> oh, no. B5? Okay. okay. B5. C yes. And uh -huh. C5. And C5. No. Another one. Another one. Another one. C2. C2. Yes. C2, uh huh. And um, B5. B5. Yay, very good. Let's go. Aquí en el chat box dice Monica D5 and A4. No, but good try. Let's go with C4 and C5. Yay, very good, Candelaria. That was perfect. Thank you for. Be present here in chat box. Awesome. But we are missing three numbers. You guys, tell me, tell me. 
Okay, D4. Yay, very good, Miss. Thank you. D5, me había dicho Miss Rebecca, but thank you, Miss. Okay, Kevin, tell me. A4. Mm -hmm. And B3. Yes, and the last one, D3, D5. That was awesome, very good. That was a little bit of practice for the numbers, okay? But what numbers can you see uh, in here? Because you didn't say the numbers, okay? You have to tell me the numbers. Wait a second, I'm just going to underline them, okay? So you can read them for me, okay? Wait a second. Okay, can you read the first one, please, uh, uh, Carla? No. This no, this one. ¿Cómo se dice ese? How do you say that, Carla? Mm, se me olvidó. Ooh, <laughs> miss, it's like this. Wait a second. Like this, Miss. Mm, no. 17. Yes. Jose Carlos, how do you say this one? 16. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda, how do you say this one? 16. Uh -huh, very good. Let's see, Eric, how do you say this one? 10. Uh -huh, very good. Let's see, Fausto, how do you say this number? 8. Yes, very good. How do you say this number, Jose Walter? 20. Um, 30. 30. 30. Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Thank you. Kevin, how do you say this number? 100. Mm -hmm. uh, Monica, how do you say this number? 40. Ajá. Uh -huh. Rebecca, this one? 90. Exactly. Y Miss Janetti, how do you say that number? The last one. Janetti. ¿Cuál? El, el último, el último. Two and zero, el, 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 this one. Thank you. Exactly, very good, everybody. So that was a little bit of practice for the numbers, right? That it was until 100. Recuerden que el día de ayer estuvimos practicando un poco de los números del uh, 10 al uh, 100, right? So, yeah, that was a little bit of practice, okay? Now, let's go with and continue with the topic for today. Uh, and today, we are going to continue with the WH questions, right? And WH question, a little bit of, I start yesterday, un poco empecé el día de ayer, pero vamos a continuar. Vamos con el primero, vea que era el what. El what, eh, it was for things, okay? Era para preguntar acerca de cosas, okay? And... El orden de las preguntas siempre va a ser lo mismo, ¿ok, you guys? El, el orden de las preguntas es siempre what, después el verbo to be, puede ser is o are, eh, or am, cualquiera de los tres verbos to be, y después complementamos en este caso con un objeto. Por ejemplo, uh, what is your name? Y recuerden que esta pues, es súper fácil de contestar porque sería my name is ta -ra 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 -ra, right? But another type of question that we can do, otro tipo de pregunta para preguntar sobre cosas puede ser what, ok, siempre va a ir al inicio y después vamos a utilizar ahorita are, ok, so we can practice another one. Uh, so for example, what are, hmm. What are your favorite, favorite drinks? Okay. What uh, are your favorite drinks? Y miren por acá, esta preguntita. So first, eh, primero tenemos el what, después tenemos el... Um, are, en este caso, después tenemos your favorite drinks. Y para responder sería my, ¿verdad? porque recuerden, cuando es entre dos personas sería my, para compartir, my favorite drinks are, y dices, like for example, 
What are your favorite drinks? My favorite drinks are a coffee. Coffee and what else means? Porque estamos hablando de varios. Are and? Coffee and Coca-Cola. Coke. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola también puedes decir, no es problem. Ok, very good. Pero en este caso, como hablamos de varias cosas, como pueden ver acá, are, estoy preguntando varias. Pero si solo hubiera puesto is, quiere decir que solo era una. Por ejemplo, what is your favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? Who wants to help me? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar? Okay. My favorite movies are... Is. A rom is a romantic. No, but one, one favorite movie that you have, Miss. Una película favorita, like for example, Before Avatar. I you? Ah, yes, Before it's a beautiful you. movie. Me Before You. I love it. I love that movie. Yes. Okay, so there we have my favorite. Well, in this case, y miren este tipo de pregunta. Cuando tenemos el is, es porque solo una. Entonces acá, miren. My favorite movie is Me Before You. Así se llama esa película, so it's super nice. And, uh, pero cuando hablamos de varias cosas, vamos a utilizar el are para responder, ¿verdad? El verbo to be, remember, ¿ok? Then, let's do another one. What is your last name? Todo, si se fijan, es con el, uh, un objeto. Una movie, drinks, apellido, nombre, ¿qué otra cosa podemos? Colors, what is your favorite color, for example? Favorite color. Jose Carlos, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. So it would be my favorite color is black. And look, wait. Como estábamos utilizando, miren, siempre este va a ser el orden para todas las preguntas que vamos a aprender. Siempre es la WH question, en este caso es el what, después el is o el are, pero en este caso pues yo me fui por una sola cosa y favorite color. Y para responder sería my favorite color is y después de el que estamos preguntando. En este caso es el cuál color es tu favorito. My favorite color is black, mi color favorito es negro. So, yes, this is the first one. Wait a second, I think we have, a, there you have it. It's a thing, it's for things. Ahí tenemos para cosas. Y ahí tenemos, what is your name? What is your occupation? Si le pregunto, por ejemplo, um, uh, Kevin, what is your occupation? My occupation is a student. Exactly. My occupation is a student. Very good. Kevin, thank you for helping me. Now, let's go with the next one, okay? We are going to do a one, review. One question, one question, please. Uh, now, we are going with where, okay? Where is used for places. El where lo vamos a utilizar para lugares, para preguntar acerca de lugares, okay? Like, for example, uh, here we have, aquí tenemos el where, y then we have is, he from, okay? Primero tenemos el where, después tenemos, que es la doble question que estamos aprendiendo ahorita, okay? y después tenemos el verbo to be is, o puede ser el are, ya van a ver, ya lo voy a utilizar en una pregunta. Después tenemos el he, que recuerden que podemos utilizar con el verbo to be is, he is, she is, it is, ¿verdad? Y el from, ¿verdad? para saber de dónde es él. Wait. Y para responder sería, uy, no sé si me va a aprender. Oh, no, 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 wait. Wait, wait a second. Para responder sería, he is from USA, for example. Vaya ahora con el de y miren por acá. Siempre miren el orden. Where, después tenemos el are. Y de ahí un sujeto. En este caso tengo el they y tengo el from. Y de ahí para responder sería they. Lo mismo que está aquí de último, miren, se utiliza para responder. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Aquí. Todo esto último. Uy, no cambio de color. Eh, vamos a utilizar, a I mí, mean, desde el are. Desde acá vamos a utilizar para responder. Entonces nuestra respuesta sería they are from 
El Salvador, ¿ok? Porque aquí al final ya respondemos el where, ¿verdad? En este caso sería el Salvador, ¿ok? And then uh, we have the next one. Me voy a ir a la pizarra porque esa no la tengo acá, porque el how old todavía no. Give me one second. Un segundo. Oh no, oh no, where are you, my little board? Okay, there. Okay, then we have the when, when it's for time. El when es para utilizarlo para tiempo, okay? Para preguntar cuándo es un cumpleaños, cuándo, significa cuándo, por cierto, eh, para preguntar acerca de, de celebraciones y demás. For example, when is your birthday? Y para responder sería, my birthday is on October 28th. Okay, for example, that's my birthday, sorry. Okay, and maybe puede ser, when are the carnavales? Okay, y miren, la pregunta siempre va a ir, when, o en este caso el when, para tiempo, recuerden, para un lugar, una celebración, un... un una fecha específica. De ahí tenemos el verbo to be are y de carnavales, que sería el sujeto en este caso. Respuesta sería, ¿qué sería primero? Vamos a ver si tenemos where are, when are the carnavales. Uh -huh. They are. Carnavales. Ajá, puede ser de, uh -huh. Puede ser they are oh. o de carnavales. Are in November, ¿ok? ¿Por qué primero puso on y ahora in? Uh, ok, so in this case, on is more specific. El on es para más específico. Y el in es como solo un mes, para un mes. En cambio, el on es para fechas exactas. En este caso, yo puse un día exacto. Y aquí solo puse un mes. ¿Ok? That's why. Okay. Uh -huh. Vamos a estudiar eso igual next week eh, about the dates, acerca de la fecha. So, yeah. Okay. Then, for example, we have when is Christmas, for example. When is Christmas? Para responder sería Christmas is... When is Christmas, everybody? Um, in 24. Four. Christmas is in December. 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 25. 25th. 25th. Exactly. 25th. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Entonces no tendría que ser on. By on? Is oh, on yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, 20. sorry. My mistake. My mistake. On Un segundo. 25. Is on. Sí, sorry, me equivoqué yo aquí. I'm sorry. On December. Sí, cuando solo mencionamos el mes, vamos a poner in. ¿Ok? Eh, cuando mencionamos fecha específica, on. ¿Ok? On December 25. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot for a second. Uh, ok. Then... Here in your book, we have some more sentences and questions, okay? We are going to read them. Can you help me to read, please, in the first one, in the first section, Eric? Me ayudas a leer esta section, please, Eric. Eric, hello. La del, la del cuadro. Yes, please. Okay. What's your name? My name is... Jill, uh -huh. where are you from? I'm from Canarian. Exactly. Who are you today? I, I, who's fine? I'm just fine. Excellent, Mister. Thank you. Let's go with next one. Can you help me with next one, please? Uh, um, Jose Walter. What day? No, whose? Whose what day? Whose? What are, where are you reading? 
Uh, so it's this he, one, right? La de cuadrito, huh? Okay. Uh -huh. He's my brother. Uh -huh. all, all is she. How old is she? She, perdón. Uh -huh. She. She is 21. What uh, he like. Uh -huh. uh, he is very nice. Excellent. Very good. Okay, now let's go with the last section. Can you help me to read, please, Monica? Sí, 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 sí. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. In Spanish, what's he like? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo, eh, ¿Cómo es él? Porque like es como gustar también, vea. Pero en este caso hay varias formas de utilizar el like. Y una de ellas es, por ejemplo, you look alike, te pareces a alguien. Entonces es como para decir cómo parece, o sea, cómo se ve de personalidad o cómo se mira de físico. ¿Ok? En el like, con ese like. Pero si se lo produce literalmente, sería que es el gusta. Por eso le digo, ahorita le están utilizando como, eh, como, como te, o qué te parece. Así sería, ¿qué te parece? Esa es otra forma de traducir el like. Por ejemplo, vaya. Eh, te pregunta, what's, what's your, what is, vamos a poner, what is your mother like? ¿Cómo es tu mamá? Te dicen, pero así se preguntan, ¿cómo es alguien? Miren, what is your mother like? Eh, o what's your boyfriend like o what is your wife like cuando te quieren preguntar que cómo es una persona puedes utilizar el like y para responder sería no vas a utilizar el like sino que vas a decir he is o for example en this case she is happy ella se mira feliz she is happy o ella en este caso vea porque what is your mother like ¿Cómo es tu mamá? Ella es feliz, ella es guapa, she is eh, beautiful. Uy. Beautiful. She's beautiful. Uh, she is eh, like that. Así es para preguntar qué, cómo es de físico o cómo es de personalidad. Pregunta con el like. Yes, miss. No, ya me contestó. Ok. Y también acá en la otra en la otra sección de preguntas aparece, miren, porque este like no es ahorita con el verbo to be, no lo pueden utilizar como verbo exacto, sino que tienen que utilizar, eh, en este caso hay, hay una, ¿cómo les puedo decir? Hay que adaptarlo, ¿ok? A la traducción. Y eh, aquí está también con lugares, ¿ok? Y también puedes hacerlo con mascotas, porque significa que te parece... ¿Qué te parece mi mamá? ¿Qué te parece el perrito? ¿Qué te parece esta persona? ¿Qué te parece el salvador? Así es como lo haces. Utilizando like, but before, pero antes tienes que ir con el verb to be in this case. Pero en este caso sería con el verbo to be. Let's see with this last section for the questions. Vamos a ver con esta última sección. Help me to read, please. Miss Carla, help me, help me. Who are okay. they? Mm -hmm. They they are my class classmates. Mm -hmm. Where are they from? They're from Rio. Mm -hmm. What Rio like? It's very beautiful. Excellent. Look here. What's Rio like? It's very beautiful. What's El Salvador like? What's El Salvador like? Vamos a poner completo el what's. What is El Salvador like? Entonces, no vamos a utilizar el like para responder. Solo sería El Salvador. Uy, sorry, the capital letter. El Salvador is mm, hot. <ríe> el Salvador is hot, ¿ok? Porque estamos explicando ¿Qué nos parece, vea, El Salvador? ¿Cómo nos parece? ¿Ok? I don't know if I answered to your question. No sé si respondió a sus preguntas. Y en este caso, miren, todos llevan el mismo orden. Primero el what o el where o el how para preguntar de cómo. Y después el verbo to be, verbo to be, verbo to be. Y después complementamos con algo más. Todos tienen eso, miren. 
Every question has the same. Every question. Solo esta que tiene that. Who is that? Or who is he? Puede ser también ahí, pero I don't know what they use that one. Here we have a little bit of a conversation. We are going to try to answer to this conversation. Okay, vamos a tratar de responder esta conversación. We are going to complete it. Okay, so primero tenemos, look, who is that? Oh, he's a new, new student. Y de ahí ten tenemos, I think his name is Chen Kuo. ¿Cuál creen que es la pregunta? I think his name is Chen Kuo. What is your, Ajá. your name? Pero tenemos el his acá, entonces sería. What, what his, name? His, his name? Okay, let's see. Ajá, what is his name? Okay, and then it says Shane Kuo. He's from China. What do you think is the question? Where is he from? Where is he from? Where is he from? Right? Porque estamos he's hablando from. de he is from. Uh -huh. Serhat, by the way, conversation number two. Serhat. Y dice la respuesta, I am from Turkey, from Istanbul. So? Where are you from? Where uh, are you from? Exactly. Where are you from? I am from Istanbul, from, from Turkey, from Istanbul. Y de ahí dice, Istanbul is very old and beautiful. How is Istanbul? What is? Uh -huh. What is like from? Okay. okay, okay. Vamos. Let's try. So the question is, how is Istanbul? Puede ser o oh, what? Is, what? Istanbul like. Ajá, what is Istanbul like? Esa puede ser la otra para preguntar cómo es. Ok, okay. very good. Let's go with the next one. Uh, my last name is en, en do Erdogan. What is your name? Your name or last name? Let's name. Last name. Exactly. Last name. What is your last name? My last name is en Erdogan. Hi, hi John. Y dice acá, I'm just fine. ¿Cuál creen que es la pregunta there? What's how the... are you doing? Exactly. How are you doing or how are you? Exactly. My friend Carolina is here this week from Argentina. Carolina, I don't know her. She's really pretty and very smart. ¿Cuál creen? Is, mm. That is the question. Who is her like? Okay. How or what? Is she like? Uh -huh. O puede ser otro, puede ser. How is she, right? She's really pretty and very smart. She's 18 years old. What do you think is the question? How old is she? How old is she? Exactly. She is 18 years old. Very good, very good. Now, this was a little bit of practice for the WH questions, but right now we are going to try to write at least, because remember, which ones are the WH questions? Wait a second, un segundo. Uy, 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 what did I do? Okay, which ones are the WH questions? One more time, me podrían recordar cuáles son las WH questions que acabamos de ver? What, where, who? Okay, what, when. where, uh -huh, when. Oh, mm -hmm. Why? Why? Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it, right? And then, wait a second. And then we have uh, the verb to be, right? For example, what are or what is, right? Or what um. Let's say it, right? Primero tenemos esto. Y después tenemos, complementamos con un subject, right? Y una question mark que nunca debemos de olvidar, ¿ok? Entonces, para crear la sería, for example, what is your favorite 
movie, no, movie, no, TV series, TV, TV channel, let's say. What is your favorite TV channel? Mm. Let's say, Kevin, what is your favorite TV channel? My favorite TV channel is Paramount. Oh, nice. TV channel is Paramount. Mm -hmm. Very good. Va, este es con el what, ¿verdad? Remiren el mismo orden. So, what, then, ver to be, your, well, your favorite TV channel sería como el complement, right? And then we have where, vamos a hacer otra, where is, hmm, where is your school? Where is your school? Uh, let's say, Carla Rivera. Where is your school? Carla, my school. Is Carla. Okay, Jose Carlos, help me. Where's your school? Let's make that up. Vamos a intentarlo. Vamos a My inventarlo. School is, uh -huh. My school is in, in another department. Okay, another department. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mister. Yes, yeah, see. What I want you to do right now, it's that I want you to create, hmm, let's say two questions, okay? Two questions using any of these. Quiero que creen dos preguntitas utilizando cualquiera de esas WH questions. Remember that this is the structure. Recordemos que esta es la estructura, WH question, después el am, is, and am, y después el sujeto. And then, yeah, just the questions, okay? And then after we are going to do the questions to our classmates. So try to do it with what is your. Okay, vamos a intentar hacer con el your para que preguntemos a nuestro compañero. Where is your? Or when is your? Y ahí complementamos con algo, ¿verdad? Let's try to do two, please. Vamos a hacer dos, okay? Let's try it. Let's try it, please. I'm going to give you two more minutes, two more minutes, so you can do it, okay? Very good, Candelaria. Where is your university? Very good, Candelaria. That was awesome. Thank you. Yes, Kevin, tell me. What are you doing and where do you live? Okay, but those are with the simple present and with the ING, mister. Listen, what are you doing? Mm -mm, no. Está bien, what are, pero recuerde que les, de les decía que lo hicieran así. What is your, where is your, when is your? Solo complementar la idea. Exactly. What is your favorite food? Very good, Miss.
Very good. Uh, Carla Marina. Very um Monica, number one. What is the dog? Oh, maybe podría decir where is the dog? Where is the dog, Miss? Cambiala. Exactly, Rebecca. Very good. Oh, Fausto, solo preguntas, Fausto, okay? No answers. Where is your job? It's perfect, okay? Two more minutes, okay? Favorite sport, Jose Walter. What is your favorite sport? Where is your department? Oh, very good, Jose Walter. What is your favorite music? Excellent, Rebecca. Okay, I think everybody's ready. Are you ready? Okay. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to try to do the questions, okay? Because it's like this, is it right? Five questions, but we are only going to do one. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so you're going to do the questions. Some of you were going to do questions, okay? Vamos a hacer una pregunta a nuestros classmates. Let's start with Rebecca. Rebecca, can you do a question to Jose Carlos, please? What is your favorite music? Mm -hmm. My music is oh, nice. Jose Carlos, can you do a question to Jose Walter, please? So what, uh, what is your father? I'm sorry, one more time, mister. Where is your father? Where is your father, right? Yeah. Okay, where is your father, Jose Walter? Mm, my father is... Uh, all where, where the place, lugar, where, for example, uh, my father is in the kitchen. Uh, uh, my, my father is a uh, department, uh, Cabañas. Oh, okay, very good. Jose Walter, do a question to Esmeralda, please. Uh, what is your deport favorite? It's favorite sport. Favorite sport. Favorite sport. Very good, Jose Walter. Thank you. My favorite sport is basketball. Excellent. Esmeralda, do a question to Janeri, please. What, what is your favorite hobby? Janeri, what is your favorite hobby? Oh, no. Carla Marina, entonces, what is your favorite uh, hobby? What is your favorite hobby, Carla Marina? Uh, my favorite hobby is reading. Oh, very good. Uh, Carla Marina, do a question to Monica, please. Monica, when is your birthday? Mm -hmm. My birthday is on 28th, June 28th. Uh, almost, Miss. That's nice. This month, 20, mm -hmm. 20 days apart. <laughs> Excellent, Monica. Let's go, Monica. Do a question to Kevin, please. Kevin, what is your favorite team? Team. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh, Kevin, what is your favorite team? 
Barcelona, Real Madrid, River Plate, Boca, uh, Tigres, <laughs> América, I don't know. Huh? Is fast. Fast. Oh, yes, true. From his... <laughs> okay, very good. Let's go. Kevin, Kevin, do a question to Fausto, please. What is your age? How old are you? And that one is how old? Wait. That one we didn't study that, but how old are you? Okay, mister? How old I'm are you? Another, another okay, person. okay, okay. Do another one. Don't worry. Uh huh. What is your nationality? Okay, Fausto. Um, my nationality is El Salvador. Uh, Salvador. El Salvadorian. Exactly, Fausto. Very good. Fausto, do a question to Eric, please. Eric, um, what is your favorite place for reset? For what? Sorry? Reset. Descansar. Yeah. Uh, to rest. Mm -hmm. Eric, what is your favorite place to rest? Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite. No logro entender lo último que dije. Rest, descansar. Rest. Ya lo voy a escribir, espérame. Give me one second. So I can, you can see it. What is your favorite place to rest? Mm -hmm. Ok. Sería my favorite place to rest is. Da -da 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 -da. My favorite place to rest is. Sorry. Um, um, my house? <laughs> Your house? Yes, it is. <laughs> Puede sí, ser. Sí, puede ser. Uh, uh, in the, no, bueno. in the, un lugar, porque como es un lugar. What is your favorite place? Lugar. Ah. ¿Cuál es tu lugar favorito para descansar? Ah, my favorite place to rest is El Pital, for example. My favorite place to rest is San Salvador. I don't know. Like, ¿qué lugar te gusta para.? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Exactly. Así, exactly. Very good. <laughs> So, mister, for you? Yes. Este, so? Sería glass house. Like? Glass house. Eh, it's a place. It's a lugar. Yes. Eh, oh, okay. Sería glass house. Eh, la casa de... La, clas, la casa, casa de... de ah, ah, where, where is that, mister? ¿Dónde está eso? Es exacto, está. Where? Mm. It's my first time listening to that. La primera vez que utilizo, que escucho la casa de cristal. Where is it? ¿Dónde? I, I didn't know about that. No eh, sabía que... Es de Santa Ana, creo que. ¿En Santa Ana? Oh, really? Sí. No, no. Ajá. Oh, creo that's... Creo que es departamento todavía de Santa Ana, creo. Really? Oh, I'm gonna look for it. Lo vamos a buscar because it sounds interesting. Suena interesante to go. It's in Cerro Verde. It's in Cerro Verde. Sí. Oh. Cerro Verde, it's... correcto. But it's not eh, Casa 1800. It's different. No. It's different. It's another place. Es otro lugar. Sí. Oh. Sí, otro lugar. Oh, that's nice. That's very good. Okay, I'm gonna look for it. That sounds uh, interesting. Suena interesante. And now, um, so that was for the WH question. I know it's super small, but remember that we have a little time. Yo sé que es poco. I don't know if you have any questions. No sé si tienen alguna duda pregunta. Questions so far about this? 
Para responder, utilizamos lo mismo que escuchemos en nuestra pregunta. Ok, you guys. So, yeah. What, where, when, who, why, how old. Y faltan otros que van a ir aprendiendo a medida pasan los módulos. Ok. Questions. Questions about the WH questions. Okay, so if we don't have any questions, I'm gonna continue. We are going to do one last topic, okay? Super fast, personality adjectives. Personality adjectives, we are going to use them to describe a person, okay? Uh, it, you can describe um, like any person, in este caso, personality adjectives. Vamos a utilizarlos, estas palabritas, y de hecho los adjetivos, eh, des describe people, okay? Things and objects, ¿ok? Para que lo recordemos. Los adjetivos, vamos a recordar que describen personas, cosas, ay, animales, acá, animals y animales, ¿ok? Y en este caso, y ahora vamos a aprender para de describir persons, people, ¿ok? Palabritas. Do you know any adjectives? ¿Saben algún adjetivo que pueda describir una persona? Por ejemplo, feliz. How do you say feliz in English? Happy. Uh, ¿Y triste? Uh, ¿Y amigable? ¿Do you know how to say amigable? Friendly. Friendly. ¿Do you know how to say hablantín? No. ¿Do you know how to say enojado? Hungry. Hmm. Yeah, ¿Y do you know how to say hambriento? Que siempre tiene hambre. Hungry. 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 Uh -huh. Ok, so there are many more, tienen eh, y otros, y ahorita vamos a hacer un pequeño repasito, ok. The first one, we are going to go to this one. This one is the first adjective and it's generous, ok. Generous, generoso, ok. Generous. But you know that it's when you give things to people, right? Without expecting something. Es cuando das algo sin esperar nada a cambio, ¿verdad? Generous. Then we have next one. That is ambitious, ¿ok? Ambitious, ambicioso o ambicioso, una, una persona que se quiere destacar, right? Then we have the next one. That is modest, modesta, modest. O polite, otra forma de decir esto es polite, que significa educado o que tiene modales, ¿ok? Polite o modest. Then let's go with the next one. You're going to help me to read now. Me van a ayudar a leer. Help me with this one, uh, uh, Esmeralda. Arrogant. Arrogant, arrogante, ¿verdad? Una persona que se cree más. Thank you, Miss. Eric. Eric. Patient. Ajá, patient. Paciente, ve que sabe esperar. Thank you. Let's go, Fausto. Uy. Aggressive. Aggressive, right? That's fighting. Le gusta pelear. Next one. Eh, José Carlos. Cheerful. Cheerful. Alegre, ok. Una persona que siempre sonríe está feliz. Ok, cheerful. Let's go. Next one. José Walter. Next one. Considerate. Considerate. Excellent. Una persona considerada que ayuda, ¿verdad? A los demás. Uh, Carla Marina. Uh, faithful or loyal. Excellent. Faithful or loyal, leal, right? Que so, bueno, you know what is loyal. Saben que es loyal, leal. So, yeah. This one, Kevin, help me to read. Kevin. Reckless. 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 Lo dijiste bien. Reckless. Reckless es una persona sin temor a nada. Ok. So it's reckless. Ok. Next one. Mónica Esmeralda. Easy John. 
Easy going. Una persona que se lleva bien con todo el mundo, ¿ok? Easy going. Rebeca. Curious. Curious, curiosa, ¿verdad? And the last one, Janetti. Shy. Shy, very good. These are some of the adjectives that we have to describe people. Esos son algunos adjetivos que tenemos para describir personas, ¿ok? But tomorrow, oh, I am sorry, Monday, on Monday we are going to continue with this. El lunes vamos a continuar con este tema, ¿ok? So don't worry. But please, try to finish section number three. Recuerden terminar la sección número tres. Tienen esta semana, el fin de semana. No se preocupen, pero traten de hacerlo lo más pronto que puedan. Yo sé que ya me explicaron, ¿verdad? Do you have any questions? Tenemos preguntas o dudas. Right now is the time. Shy, it's... Tímido. Mm, uh -huh. Tímido, yeah. Thank you. No problem, miss. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, if you, had, you don't have any questions, we are going to stay here. Si no tenemos más preguntas, nos vamos a quedar por acá. And we will continue on Monday. Have a great week, weekend, everybody. Take care. Que tengan un buen fin de semana. Se cuidan. And I'll see you Monday. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye, Monica.